Welcome to the OM School program. This video is taken from our teacher training program on edX.org called Teaching with Physical Computing. Whether you're new to teaching computing or a specialist, this program will set you up on a path to becoming an expert in delivering technology-enabled project-based learning in the classroom. This module introduces some of the most popular development boards used in schools, including Microbit, Arduino, and Raspberry Pi. In this unit, we will be looking at the different pieces of hardware that are available for delivery of the various project-based learning activities. The Microbit was developed to inspire children to develop their skills in the digital world. There is a particular focus on encouraging girls and pupils from disadvantaged backgrounds to develop their skills. The first version of the Microbit includes a wide range of sensors and input devices. It contains an LED matrix screen, which has five rows of five LEDs. The Microbit also has a number of built-in sensors, including a light sensor, a compass, an accelerometer and a temperature sensor. In addition to the main board, a wide range of peripherals are also available including buggies, robots, environment sensors and external screens. When students come to write code for the microbit, they have a choice of languages. When most students begin learning to code, they will use a block language. The microbit uses MakeCode, which consists of a number of different coloured blocks that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. We are now going to have a look at the MakeCode interface in a little more detail. As you can see, the interface is bright and colourful. It is fairly intuitive and is accessible to a wide range of age groups. We are now going to move on to look at the Arduino. Arduino sets can either be purchased as individual devices or as a starter kit. Many of the ARM lessons are based on the MKR IoT bundle. This includes the Arduino MKR 1000 board, and a wide range of peripherals. The Arduino doesn't contain built-in sensors like the Microbit. Instead, it uses a number of shields. The recommended bundle includes these sensors and allows them to be connected to the board with relative ease. The Arduino is open source, so all the development tools required to program it are available free of charge. The Arduino IoT Cloud allows students to develop devices that can be controlled via the internet. They can also take readings and publish them on a dashboard with relative ease. As you can see from the interface, it requires programs to be written as text. The final device that we are going to look at for now is the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi takes a slightly different approach from the two devices that we've looked at so far. The Raspberry Pi itself is a low-cost computer that is capable of being plugged into either a computer monitor or a TV. The Raspberry Pi can be connected to a range of peripherals via its onboard USB sockets. The first consideration should be who is going to use the device. Is it mainly going to be used with 16 plus students or will it be used with 12 and 13 year olds? If it is mainly being used with older students, you may wish to consider the Arduino or Raspberry Pi, whereas younger students really enjoy using the Microbit. Whichever choice you make, you need to be very careful with the peripherals when using the computers. Younger students often find it easier to stick to built-in sensors. In addition to the actual hardware, you will need access to a range of making materials for some of the projects. These are the materials that essentially create the packaging for the electronic device. All three devices can offer students exciting, engaging PBL lessons. To learn more, head over to edX.org and search for project-based learning and enrol for free.